at the border. Uh, this does have sort of a, a political earthquake uh, implications here. In McAllen, Texas, they have elected a Republican for mayor. Now, McAllen in that area is the same area that Hillary Clinton won by 40 points over Donald Trump in 2016. Joe Biden won by about 20 points over Donald Trump. Uh, so something's changed. The, the guy who uh, right now is the mayor-elect, it was a close election, that they were ironing that out, but he was kind enough to join us, Javier Villalobos, uh, the McAllen, Texas mayor-elect. Sir, very good to have you. Thank you very much. Glad to be here. Um, yeah, let me get your take on what happened. Now, I know it was a close election. You won by a couple hundred votes. I, I don't know whether there's going to be a recount or your opponent is looking into, into that. But where do things stand now? Uh, certainly. Actually, it was a very close election. Of course, you all know it was nonpartisan. But everybody also knew that I was the former Republican chair. So, no, the difference was only about 220 votes. It'd be very difficult to, to overturn, recount, whatever. I, I think we're going to be fine. All right. Regardless of how close it was or what happens, to your point, Mayor-elect, it, it's very different than it was a little more than, you know, a few months ago, to say nothing of a few years ago. What's going on? Well, yeah, during the past election, it's amazing what happened here in South Texas. I think generally the Hispanic community is very conservative, yet traditionally they voted Democrat. It's amazing what happened this past election. I think our numbers as far as conservative voters were up quite substantially. We finally finally have competition in South Texas. So I think it's going to open up the doors for a lot of people. All right. Now, a lot of people have been noticing, even in the last election, where Donald uh, Trump scored more of the Latino vote uh, than, than he did even in the election four years prior. How do you see the Latino vote, if I can generalize, going well, right now? It's, it's down in South Texas, it's a little bit different. Like I said, traditionally Democrat. However, there are uh, a lot of individuals, including older individuals that have forever voted Democrat, are opening up their eyes, accepting different ideas, uh, both social and economic. And it's amazing. We will have some, I always tell everybody, competition is good. It has been traditional Democrats, so South Texas has been ignored a lot of the times. It won't happen anymore. We expect next election that we will have the same type of result. We have candidates. Uh, now running for Congress, when a lot of times it was very difficult to peel the candidate down here, especially local elections. I think things are going to be changing. You know, Mayor, like, is it your sense that, you know, we always tend to look at the Hispanic community as a monolithic block, but there are many in, in your community who got here legally, and, and then they, they tend to resent what's been happening at the border, and, and, and as if that speaks for all Hispanics. What do you think? You know, it's amazing. Even the older individuals, including, and I've said it before, my, my in-laws, they just can't stand what's going on. My in-laws, they were, they were immigrants legally. And it is true. People talk about it. They say, look, what's going on? Why can't they do it legally? There's a, there has to be a mechanism. But you know what? A lot of the fault we have is in Washington. So we, we implore with our senators, our congressmen, the president, guys, take a, take a look at the immigration issue. Take care of that. We're being burdened right now with hundreds of thousands of immigrants uh, almost daily. And it's an issue that we shouldn't be burdened. Our taxpayers shouldn't be paying for that. Uh, so we keep on telling Washington, take care of business. You know, Javier, um, Kamala Harris has yet to come to the border. She seems to be putting it off. Um, is it almost too late now? No, look, any time a federal official comes in, they're welcome. I think it'd be... It'd be wonderful if, uh, if Vice President Harris could come and see some of the issues we have. We are about 10 miles from the border. We have two international bridges, Ansaldúa and Hidalgo. In Ansaldúa, it's amazing at any given time, hundreds and hundreds of immigrants. That's the point where Border Patrol uh, starts processing. They send them to McAllen. Uh, fortunately, all we do is logistical assistance as far as transportation, where they're dropped off to a respite center and then to the bus station or to the airport. So and our position, it's like, look, we shouldn't be doing this. We should not be expending our money on immigration issues, on federal issues. Uh, but fortunately, we, for our purposes, it's logistical and the immigrants don't stay here in McAllen. 
they go to the bus station, to the airport, and they're out. So at least that's beneficial for us. Mayor-elect, thank you very, very much. Uh, Javier Villalobos, he is the tech, uh, Texas mayor-elect. It, it was a seismic shift in that region. Close as the election was, that, that was not expected. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on that. Mayor, thank you so much.